Yo, welcome back to The Pulse. And uh, some news coming in from the Achimota School this afternoon is that uh, the head teacher has been receiving death threats following her decision to challenge encroachers who are getting onto their school lands uh, here in Accra. Patricia Gasso has been to the school today and joins me now in the studio with more on, on, on this particular story. Matilda, uh, Patricia, good afternoon to you. Afternoon. What's this issue about the headmistress getting death threats? Where are they coming from? Um, she claims it's the encroachers. She went to them to let them know that the land belongs to Achimota School. So they do not have any legal permit to build or develop the land for their own personal gains. Mm. And they wouldn't agree with her. So the last time, so she was at home around 11 p.m. And some people came to the house to disturb her. And she also said someone deliberately tried to smash into her car. But some teachers have also been receiving these threats. Two of their cars were smashed and... They're just calling for government intervention. They okay. really want to claim the land, reclaim but again, the land. But again, we know, Patricia, that for this Achimota lands issue, it's been something that's been running for quite some time now. Yes. How different is this from the previous ones we've heard in the past? You know, uh, it's also in the media that they lost a court case. According to her, it wasn't like that. They didn't go to court. The, some of the encroachers had to sue the Lands Commission. The Lands Commission couldn't defend the land, so they... Developers had, had to, to take over, but I think I, I spoke with her, so let's listen to that. Okay, let's let's have the interview now. Indeed, we got judgment for the school lands in the year 2006. That apart from the 198 plots, which is referred to as the SNIT quarters, everything belongs to Achimota School. So all workers, their assigns, whoever should not tread on Achimota School lands. So since 2006, look at the number of developments that have gone on. So all those people are illegal uh, residents on Achimota school lands. They have no right to be here. They have no locals on the land. But the current one we are discussing right now is the one near our junior staff quarters, where we normally refer to as Anungle, and the games fields where the students play. We have a group of people, the Osuman Kralo and others, who claim that the land is for them and that they had been in adverse possession of the land for some time now. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they didn't approach the school. They sent land commission to court. The school had no knowledge of this. The land belongs to Achimota School and not to land commission. We were here when we saw them with their bulldozers, etc., clearing the land. And uh, when we were informed that they were clearing the land and we went there, they said that they had gone to court and they had been given a writ of possession to possess the land. You see, and so we went to court about it. Okay. Yeah, the court threw it out initially, but later they gave a hearing and they gave sermons that uh, they should stop the development, but they are still developing. And so we intend to put the sermons in the papers and on notice boards elsewhere. So what happens if you put all of these notices and stuff in the papers and on notice board and it's still the same issue? Then they will be, uh, they'll be in contempt of court because if the court has invited them and they are not going to court and they are rather building, then they'll be in contempt of court. Because you see, you and I know that no amount of land is too much for any school. Look at Legon. Look at the expanse of land they had. With time, with the public-private partnership, you see that the school has expanded. They have built more uh, faculties. They are expanding. They are even building their medical school and the university campus. What is preventing Achimota School from building a bigger science lab? Okay. So right now, if you want to reclaim this land, do you have the legal backings? All the drawings at Land Commission says that the lands are for Achimota School. Nothing has been changed. If you go to the Lands Commission and do a search on lands. All these parcels of land around here where people are building uh, just like that, you see that they don't have a single, uh, what do you call it, permit. Nobody on this Achimota school land has permit from AME. Because right now, if you go to them and ask any one of them to bring permits, we've been in court, they have not been able to produce any permit. All they have is a, a what application for permit. And an application is not a permit. We are now applying for building permit. 
you have not been given. None of them have it. And that is what baffles me. It beats my imagination. There is this fence behind the school. No, it wasn't done by this. It's been done by the encroachers. Who gave them that authority to build that fence? To that is the question that we want an answer to. Because we just don't know. They have land gas there. You dare not go there. Our security go there. The security goes there. But they, they cannot do anything to them because they are macho men. And all these things are illegal. We have reported to the police. I have personally written to the IGP. I have reported to the Achimoto School Police Station, who is in charge of this uh, area. I have reported to the Tesano, which is above the Achimoto School Police Station. I have written letters to the Ghana Education Service, the Metro Directory, the Regional Directory, all the way to the head office. So I'm waiting for a response from the director. How long? Okay, I wrote to them some time ago. I think uh, uh, somewhere when this case, when they started building immediately, yeah. I wrote to them. Uh, that was in April. This in April, year? this year, April, when they started building this wall you are talking about, I wrote to them that this is a new development that is going on on the Archwater school lands. So I'd be grateful if they would address the, the, the problem. Okay, so first letter was sent in April? Yes. And then, did, it, did you follow up? Yes, I did. With a second letter? With Weber, I followed up to check if they had received the letters. Metro said they had received and they had forwarded it to regional. I went to regional, regional gave me a copy of the letter that she admitted to uh, the head office. As the head of the school, you're trying to stop these encroachers and by sending letters and other things. Have they been cool with you? Have they been okay with you? Nobody's threatening you? Oh, I've been threatened a couple of times. I have been threatened a couple of times. There was a by time that... same encroachers? Yeah, by, by these same encroachers. That there was a time that my house was besieged as late as 11 uh, p.m. in the night. And I had to call the then regional police commander, Rosby Atinga, you know, who uh, gave me police protection for a period of time. I mean, this thing has been going on. People have been threatening me. Uh, once one of them nearly ran into my car deliberately, you know. Uh, is, is that scary? Is that frightening? But, okay. but you have been given a job, so you must do it. How are you dealing with this, this, these threats on your life? Because of these threats, I would say that I've become a recluse. You know, from my office, I go to the house and I lock myself up. And I give instructions to the security. And unless I've told him so and so is coming, he should not come and call me. Because of these many, many threats I've been receiving. You know, how can one live like this? Fighting for a national cause. And I believe everybody should join in the fight to get Achimota school lands back for posterity's sake. So that's the headmistress of the school uh, speaking to Patricia Gasso this afternoon. Clearly, uh, yeah, they are struggling to keep hold of the lands they have, considering the issues they are having with encroachers. But something also interesting happened, even as we were covering the story this afternoon. Uh, Patricia, what happened when you were trying to get the uh, view of the encroachers on why they were even there in the first place? We wanted to go to the the side that has been demarcated to bring the difference between the school and the development site. So we're going and then I asked my cameraman, he has a camera, so you take the lead and then take a longer shot so we know exactly what, was going, what is going on. So he got there, I had to stand somewhere and wait for him. And I saw him running towards me. I was like, what is the problem? So the land guards are coming. We should leave immediately. And luckily for us, our driver was parked. Um, yeah, feet, yeah, so we quickly had to jump into the car. While I was driving, we saw them trying to chase us. One tech tall man in pink. We couldn't take those shots because it was running, a bit clearly. scary. Yeah, so we had to run and then move to Gimpa Campos and then just elsewhere before you could go. So clearly, uh, even as you're trying to cover this story, there are some people who do not want your cameras there. Yes. In terms of covering the story, okay. Yes. But thank you, thank you, thank you, Patricia, for these details. I'm yeah, sure yeah. that uh, for the Ghana Education Service uh, that are being asked by the school to to intervene and take care of this matter, they will in the. Country.